Yo, what up? I'm gonna show you how to change the appearance of your synths that are on the MPC Live using the iPad. This works with the MPC Live 1, 2, and the MPC Live, as well as the iPad, iPhone, iPad mini. So the first thing I wanna explain is that the uh, the synths that are on the MPC Live as of a ver a ver um, firmware 2.10 are all being are coming out of the memory card that's inserted into the MPC Live as of firmware 2.10 they've added some uh, plugins that allow you you to run the plugins off of the uh, SD card as opposed to the internal memory of the MPC Live uh, unit so you can use a memory card to actually plug directly into the iPad that you can use a memory card and a memory card reader to plug in directly to the iPad, but you will need a um, a powered USB hub or some external power if you're not using an iPad Pro because I know the base models of the iPhone or the iPad or even iPad mini do uh, require uh, some additional power to, to be to read a memory card reader. So that's just an FYI if you don't have the cable on hand, but you do want to make some edits to your sense using a memory card reader and a camera connection kit, you will need some external power. So again, I'm going to plug this SD card back into the MPC Live, and that's where the uh, files are located that we're going to edit. We're going to need the standard uh, MPC Live uh, USB cable that comes with the MPC Live or the MPC Live 2 or MPC Live 1, whatever MPC Live you have, you have to use the MPC Live cable that came with it to plug it into the, I, into the I, um, MPC and into the iPad. Now we're going to connect these two via a camera connection kit and plug it into the MPC Live. And then we're gonna put the MPC Live into controller mode. And we do that by going to menu and clicking on MPC. And on the iPad, we're gonna go to our files app and click on the files app. And then it should bring up all the files that are on your iPad. Right now, the SD card that's in the MPC is not reflected on the iPad. But once we put it into controller mode, you will see a directory pop up that's going to show you NPC SD. And that is for the SD card that's in the NPC Live. I renamed the card to NPC SD. So whatever you renamed your card to will appear on your, on your iPad. Next thing you want to do is click on that file folder. And this one's taking a minute because I do have a lot of files on this card. And we're going to go to our synth, car, uh, synth folder. You can do that by search or you can scroll through using your scroll feature. We go to synths. And I'm going to choose the Mellotron plugin and edit the plugin skin. Now this is the appearance of the actual plugin that we're using. This is how it looks natively. And these are just representative of all, of all the different skins that are in the Mellotron. So we're gonna edit this skin right here, Flavor comp Compressor EQ. And we're gonna go to that icon up top that looks like a, a share button. We're gonna go to Procreate. If you have Procreate on your on your iPad. If you don't, if you have Photoshop or another uh, editing device, the format you're going to need to choose is uh, PNG when you're when you're exporting it back to into the MPC Live. So we're going to use Procreate for today. And now it's sending that file to Procreate for editing purposes. Now we should see it imported into the Procreate um, app we click on that button right there now what i like to do when i'm editing my my um skins is i choose to add a layer that way 
we can always delete layers as far as uh, if we make edits and whatnot in Procreate. And for this uh, edit, we're just gonna uh, choose to insert a photo. In Procreate, you have the option to insert a file, uh, picture, a photo, or text. I'm gonna insert a photo. And I'm gonna choose, let's choose this one right there. And I'm just gonna make some edits to this photo. I'm gonna fix it to the uh, width of the actual plugin. And then I'm gonna change the opacity. Do that by going to layers, going right here. And then this gives you different opacity uh, features right there, depending on how you want the picture to appear on the NPC. I'm satisfied with that look right there. And now I go back to my gallery and I uh, swipe over to the left and I'm gonna hit share. And then I'm gonna hit PNG export it back into save the files which is going to locate the last file I accessed on the iPad hopefully but wait till it gets all the way back to the original file that you uh, imported it from and go to save now since it's named the same name as the original file we want to replace that wait till qu quits thinking Now it's exported successfully. We go back to our standalone mode and hopefully we will see our Mellotron skin look like that one right there. So we go back there, let's see. We can go to, to, to the plug right there. Make sure you choose the right plugin, Mellotron. Then go to menu, program edit. And boom, there you got it. Same thing. So say if we didn't want to keep it uh, like it is right now, we'd go back to menu, NPC Live, or NPC Live, yep, and then don't save. Go back and make any edits you want. Like I said before, if you don't want that layer right there, delete it. It's back to the original look. Go to gallery, swipe to the left, hit share, PNG, save to files. Make sure that it'll bring up the directory we were just at before we decide to save it. Because if you don't, it may be the, uh, it may not save. Hit save, replace it. Wait till it quits thinking. Go back to standalone. Hit yes. So hopefully, if we bring up that plug it plugin again, go to plugin, go to Mellotron, hit menu, program edit, and it's back to its original format. Yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it in the comments section. If you found this uh, information helpful, please uh, subscribe. And uh, shouts out to uh, Polly Popo for, you know, uh, showing us how to use do this uh, operation as far as changing the scans uh, on the Windows operating system. And uh, shout out to Miss Lay for showing us that uh, you can connect the iPad to the NPC Live via the USB cable. As, as late as this uh, 2.10 firmware update is concerned. But yeah, shout out to everybody that's out there making uh, NPC videos and tutorials and uh, continue to share the information. Like I said, if you found this information helpful, please subscribe. Leave a thumbs up as well if you found it helpful as well. Peace.